Today I had my first lesson since arriving in Australia to visit Manolo Mendez at his facility, La Mancha. For those of you who have not visited his website or Facebook page, I encourage you to do so. Manolo was classically trained in Spain and now resides in Australia. He is unique among horsemen today. His ability to understand how a horse moves, how they think, and what they need is unsurpassed in my experience. In general, I tend to take what I like from each trainer or professional that I meet and leave what doesn't work for me. Everything I have learned from Manolo has been useful. I have soaked up every bit of it. It has been a great privilege and honor to learn from him. So today I had my first in-hand lesson with Buddy, a warm blood who was sent to Australia for the sole purpose of working with Manolo. Lucky horse. Although I have been doing in-hand on my own with my own horses, it's always different when working with a new horse. Not to mention the pressure of doing it in front of the trainer whose methods you're trying to learn. But you can't be sitting in the bleachers hoping for knowledge to just land in your lap. We started out by going over proper cavisson fit, proper positioning in relationship to the horse, and how to move the horse with the bamboo. Manolo demonstrated the position and movements he wanted, then I took a turn at it. First, I got Buddy out on the lunge in a nice forward walk. And then we worked on how to ask Buddy to get the shoulder out and travel to the track. Then asking for a good quality trot where both the front end and the back end take off at the same time. Manolo then demonstrated the various ways you can influence the trot, tapping the back legs for a few steps to improve the horse's quality of movement. Ask for a few steps and then leave them alone. Carefully, not to ask for too much too fast and reward even a small try. Manolo says you have to walk before you can run and you have to have an understanding of the letters before you can form words and then sentences. His philosophy emphasizes slow, steady progression. You build a good foundation and you use it every day. Basic work the horse can do easily gives him confidence to try new things a little at a time. If he struggles, you go back to what he knows. Today I had the pleasure of riding the Andalusian Stallion Dynamico. It's been a couple of years since I've had a formal dressage lesson. Lucky for me, the last dressage lesson I had was on Picasso with Manolo. I warmed up Dynamico the way Manolo trains, with the nose out in front of the vertical and with good activity. It was my first time riding an advanced horse and I had a blast, even if I was a little intimidated. After all, I'm a work in progress myself. We worked on getting even bends, keeping Dynamico forward, and working on my own straightness. The horse can't be straight if I'm not straight. What we do on the ground with the in-hand work is meant to improve what happens in the saddle. It was nice to get a chance to feel some of the results I'll be working towards. Today's lesson was much improved, mostly for me. Dynamico was the same. I have a tendency to twist to the right, 
causing me to hold onto the right rein a little more than I should. Riders should strive for balance and an even contact. So in this lesson, I concentrated on being more even. Here I do a shoulder four and ride out to the track from the center line. This one was, as they say here at La Mancha, not so good. But on the next pass, I improve. Here again, I have too much right rein, and as you can see, it causes Dynamico to twist his face to the right. On the next pass, I was careful to not pull on the right rein, and I got a much better movement. Here Manolo assists me in getting some collected canter out of Dynamico. Having no real experience with getting proper collection, Manolo assisted me from the ground so the horse would achieve the proper movement. It was very nice to ride a horse with a proper education. It gives me an inkling of what I should strive for in my own horses. Seldom do riders get to feel what a more finished horse should feel like. I count myself very lucky. Oh, in hand, we meet again. For me, learning in hand is like learning to dance. You learn some bits and pieces, struggle and fight to put it together in a reasonable looking chain of movements, look completely ridiculous, and then one day, it will all fall into place. During the week, I listened and filmed Manolo at a local clinic. How lucky are those folks to have access to his knowledge once a month? Anyway, he mentioned that when asking for something, he always gives multiple cues with the body, the hand, the whip, and the voice. For example, he may speed up or even start running a little to encourage a horse to pick up the canner while using his voice to encourage him, using a wide open arm to direct the lead, and running the bamboo on the ground. Here my prep for Buddy wasn't enough and he lurched into the trot with his front end. I went back and attempted to get a better result. Manolo suggested I give a more clear preparation, reminding me to use all four cues. That worked. When doing in-hand work, you have to be willing to adjust your own body position so you can get the response you want from the horse. You could be crouching down, you could be running alongside the horse. Whatever the horse needs to move well, you do it. You can use your own body like a mirror for the horse. Once we've done several transitions from walk to trot and trot to walk, I then ask Buddy to maintain the trot for a few circles. When doing any kind of work, you don't want to stay on one exercise for too long. The horse gets fatigued and then cannot learn anything. So keep it slow, keep it short. Listen to the horse's breathing, look at his nostrils and overall expression. This all reminds me of dancing. My dance instructor always says to me, do the movement slowly, you will learn the movement quickly. Do it too fast, you will learn it slowly. Muscle memory takes time to develop. The trick with in-hand work is that both the horse and I are learning new movements together. I learned some very important distinctions today. One, 
When lunging in hand, you can make the circle bigger or smaller by moving your body along the line, keeping your hand in one place. The hand stays on the same circle in relation to the horse, but by taking my body closer and further away, I can change my relationship to the horse and affect his movement closer in or further out. It's a distinction that is hard to see unless you are really looking for it. Next, when transitioning down from the trot, I know to release as the horse transitions downward, but with the 90 other new things I'm trying to remember, I forgot it. Manolo kindly reminded me, and when I incorporated it, Buddy's transition was better. If I keep tension on the line as he changes gates, it creates a block and interrupts his motion. It was rather warm today, and we went to canner just a little bit. Buddy would really rather not have cannered. Manolo demonstrated how he prepares and asks for the canner. Then it was my turn. For me, I have to learn by doing. I can watch and read all I want, but it won't register in my muscle memory unless I physically do it. On the first day, I told Manolo that learning this was like learning to dance, one or two dance steps at a time, and at some point, it'll start to resemble a dance. When we finished today, I asked Manolo to show me how to properly get Buddy's back up so that I can do it correctly with Aries and Picasso. I am well and truly blessed to have had the opportunity to come to La Mancha and learn from Manolo. I have also learned immensely from his assistant trainer Chantel and his lovely wife Kate. As we all seek to enhance the lives and experiences of our horses, most of us look for someone to guide us, and if you are lucky, your guide will also be your friend. What we learn with horses we need to learn to take into life, as Manolo is so fond of saying, horses are the same as humans. So much of work with horses applies to human nature. My education this past month has not just been about horses and horsemanship. It's applicable to my life. Treat your horse the way you want to be treated. He is your friend and your dance partner.